So, uh, hello everyone out here watching this uh, video. I am going to cover the newer features in Roblox Assets Extractor version 0 0.1.4. Now you can test these features now by downloading the development build. I'm on Linux, so I'll download the Linux one. And I'll extract this to my folder so I can open it. This is This is the development build. As you can see, it is very similar to the non-development build because it's the basically the same program except for some new features. Uh, I guess the first thing I'll cover here is, uh, is uh, Japanese. So uh, now the program has been translated in Japanese, but the, as you can see, the translations aren't completely finished. But it, it now supports Japanese. Like it, this was pretty quite a lot of work to do because. The Japanese fonts will just appear as a bunch of rectangles, and I had to go through and fix that. Um, and just change this back to English. Uh, so now, now you can change it between a light and dark theme, or match it with your system theme. It always used to match with your system theme. I just added this under the behavior thing, so they can. So so now people can make the program different from their system theme because if you don't activate Windows, then you can't change it to dark theme and it will blind your eyes and yeah I see I as you can see this version is still 0 0.1.3 this is just to stop it from conflicting with updates because it will even if it's 0 0.1.4 which is technically a newer version it will try to download the older version I could just turn off check for updates but I'm usually doing lots of development in VS code and I, I had to I have to test the updater sometimes so I, I'm just gonna click finish now, uh, the new button you'll spot here is swap assets. I'm going to go clear my Roblox cache, actually. There we go. My Roblox cache is now cleared. I'm going to, uh, I guess, make an example game so I can show how the swap assets works. So I'll be right back with an example game. So here's a simple game I made to demonstrate this feature. I'm just going to load it up and hope everything just goes okay because you know how live demos go usually they always go messed up now here we go so I have a blue block with a cat picture on it and a red block with a dog picture on it now I'm just going to close Roblox I'm going to go back into Roblox Assets Extractor I'm going to go list the images and I want to find what one's the cat and what one's the dog so this is not the cat That's the cat texture. So I'm going to rename this to cat. And I'm going to go through and find the dog one. Weird item I got from the hunt. And there's the dog. So I got the dog texture. I got the cat and dog texture. Now, initially, when you click swap assets, it will give you a potential ban alert. Because um, when you, for example, if you're editing a sound, you're swapping the sounds, it will change the length of the sound which the game may detect. So, use at your own risk. This is my own game, so I, I I cannot be banned from my own game, so, sure. So I have to double click the file I want to swap to. For example, the cat, I'm gonna swap, I'm gonna swap the dog with the cat. They just swapped, I think I should have a confirmation because it's really, it doesn't, it doesn't really make it obvious, but now if I click on the cat, it will be a dog. See, so now if I go back to the game, you should see the assets being swapped around where the uh, the cat is on the blue block. No, the dog is on the blue block. Yeah, there you go. So as you can see, the assets have swapped from earlier. Uh, and um, yeah, you can you, you just 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 to remember, you should you probably shouldn't be doing this in like big games because they can probably detect that the assets have changed properties. Like, I believe you can get the average colour of an image. I'm not sure. I haven't really actually made many Roblox games. But, it's, yeah, this is just an example to demonstrate this feature. But, yeah, I got the, I got the, I got the, now the dog picture on the blue block and the cat picture on the red block, which is, which is the different places from before. And you can do this to basically, like, basically yeah, make mods for your games. But, <laughs> so, again, I don't recommend doing this on public games. It's, it's not a good idea. Um... But I, the the whole reason why I added this feature is because I've been contacted by someone who's been using Roblox Assets Extractor to make 
to find the assets and then manually swapping them in the cache. So I just made this feature to make it much easier to do that. Again, I should probably add a confirmation saying that those assets have been swapped, but then I also need to tell the translators that there's a new feature to translate this. It's painful when you have a multilingual program. So I think for now, I will um, I will keep it simple and just have no confirmation because it just goes away. It looks like something went wrong. I don't know. I have no idea. But but I guess you'll get used to it anyways. <laughs> it is a weird program. And uh, yeah, the, the dog and the cat are swapped and that's that's um the whole thing. You know, I'm curious. I wonder if I could swap the spawn spawn texture, which I believe is this one. No, that's a grey image for some reason. I don't know what the point of that is. That's the sky box. Let's try swapping the sky box with the with the cat. So the name is Skybox. I'm going to swap the cat with the skybox. And then, I mean the dog. That's the dog now because they, they swapped. So now the skybox is a picture of the dog. I wonder what actually happens. This will probably look really funny. <laughs> See, it's, it's fun messing with your software when you're making it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm being surrounded by dogs. And there's a picture of the skybox. <laughs> oh, this would have been a better demonstration. I should have done that before. Because now you can see the game has really changed. This is not what it used to look like. <laughs> oh my gosh. And now there's a picture of the skybox and a picture of the cat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I, 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 it's fun having fun with your software. But just remember that this this feature can potentially get you banned in games. Because um it does change the property of stuff like the resolution of the image. The length of the sound and stuff. So I... Use this feature at your own risk if you're using it on someone else's game. Anyway, this is this is it for now. Mm -hmm.